throughout my life, I've gone through periods where I'm either journaling a ton and keeping up with it really well, or I'm wishing that I would. So I wanted to put together a list of the tips that have helped me to make a habit out of documenting my day-to-day -day life in case that it might help you. So the first thing that I tend to get preoccupied with are the supplies. I found that when I really like the notebook or the journaling system I'm using, I'm a lot more likely to actually use it. Lately, you may have noticed that I've been really into the traveler's notebook system because it lets you keep multiple notebooks in different sizes for various topics. And then you can just switch to the one that you're most excited about at the time. I also like that you can keep them organized and they're portable because they come with these covers that hold on to all the notebooks for you. Everyone has different preferences and sometimes they change when you wanna switch things up. But I've found that looking up YouTube videos about different kinds of notebooks and systems can be really helpful because you can kind of get a look at it, see what it looks like when someone's actually using it, hear their thoughts on it, and not actually have to spend the money to test every notebook yourself. There are a bunch of really good journaling channels out there, so I'm going to link to a bunch of my favorites in the video description below. Number two, people pretty much agree across the board that consistency is important for building habits, but don't force yourself to write the same amount every day. Lately, I've been trying to commit to writing writing at least a little bit every day, but knowing that I don't have to fill a full page if I just had a really boring day and don't have a whole lot to say or I'm tired and I just don't, I'm not in the mood for writing, I can just write a little bit and save the full pages for days where I'm doing a lot of stuff or have a lot of thoughts. I find that this helps me immensely because sometimes it's just late at night and I'm tired, but I can usually find the energy to like just sit down and write one quick sentence before I go to bed. And it actually ends up looking kind of cool. I just write the next day's heading and write a little bit and move on with my life and if I have a day where I have a lot of pictures or ticket stubs to paste in, then I can take up more space if I want to. Giving yourself permission to keep it short can be a really good way to maintain that habit of writing something every single day, even if it's just a tiny little bit. Number three, also give yourself permission to make mistakes. It doesn't have to look perfect, and if you really don't like whatever you just wrote, have extra paper around that you can paste on top and cover with something new. Whenever I am too preoccupied about trying to make my journal pages look great, I find that I don't write anything at all. And that's not what you want because the more that you journal, the more you'll improve and the better it will look. Number four, it can help to have a theme, but also don't feel like you have to stick with it. This is why I like traveler's notebooks where you can have multiple inserts with different themes all in one notebook. Book. I can switch to one of my themed journals when I'm inspired to, but I also have my normal boring everyday stuff journal when I need it to. Mostly I say this because I always come up with new ideas for journals and I rarely keep up with them all. <laughs> Honestly, the ones that have really stuck around that I've actually filled up are the more general ones where I just write what I did that day and I don't really have to think that much about it. Number five, collect things to add to your journal and fill up the pages with things that aren't just writing. They fill up faster and are more interesting to look back at later if you keep like ticket stubs and brochures and photos and things like that. I also just really love the feel of a journal that is just full of paste-ins and other colorful things. It's thicker, a lot thicker than it was when I first started filling it out and also, it feels even more rewarding when you fill one up. The Traveler's Notebook inserts are pretty thin to begin with, but this is at least double the thickness of what it was when it was empty. Just to give you an idea, this is the first Traveler's Notebook that I completely finished, and this is what they look like when you first buy them. Look at that. What a big difference, right? I find that starting in a notebook feels really good and fresh and you haven't like ruined it too much yet, but then keeping it going is really hard until you've got like at least half the pages filled up and then you just want to keep writing in it because it looks so good and all the pages are starting to get all crinkled up and it's been loved. And when you fill it up with postcards and letters and random stuff that you find, it fills up a lot faster and so I feel like you trick yourself into thinking that you've been doing it longer and you're more proud of it. One of the weirdest things that I've saved to paste into my journal is confetti that I've collected from the floor at concerts. <laughs> Number six, make your own rules and develop your own style. It can be so tempting to be completely jealous of all the amazing, gorgeous journaling photos on Instagram, but it's important to remember that those people probably aren't sharing their really boring or super messy layouts. They're only sharing the good ones and they've probably been journaling for a really long time to get there. Everyone has their own journaling personality and it's totally okay if yours doesn't look like the ones that you're seeing online. You also are under no obligation to show your journals to anyone. 
one. So take the opportunity to make mistakes and get messy and try new things. This is one of the best things about journaling for me. I share so many of my creative projects online and so it feels really nice to have a couple things that are just for me that are still creative. Of course, now that I am happy with the way that my journals look, I've started ones that I do feel comfortable sharing, like my travel journal and my new Harry Potter reread journal, both of which I featured on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing them, I'm gonna put a card above and I'm gonna put links in the video description below where you can find those. But I still mostly keep my everyday personal journal and my work journal just for me. I hope that these tips are helpful to you. I'm about a year into my latest journaling kick and I hope that I can keep it going for as long as I can. And I still feel like I can use all the help I can get. So in the comments below, I would love if you would tell me what inspires and motivates you to write in your journal. To tie up this video, I wanted to do a quick jet pens haul because they sent me another round of journaling products that I wanted to share with you. They don't pay me to include these, I just like them. <laughs> so this is something that I've wanted for a while. It is the number 11 Traveler's Notebook Refill Binder. Because I have started filling up Traveler's Notebook refills and I don't have a place to put them yet, I asked for this binder and it is specifically designed for holding the official Traveler's Notebook inserts. I am opening this up right now because I wanna put my first notebook in it. So they have these little metal pieces on the inside that I guess you wrap the notebook around. All right, there we go. Oh, this is gonna look so cool when I finish a bunch more. That's awesome, so it has this basic same idea as the Traveler's Notebook cover, but it's a binder instead, so you can like put it on a shelf and you can hold way, way more in here. <laughs> Oh, nice. The next thing they sent is the number eight Traveler's Notebook zipper case. This is one of the plastic inserts that you can put in your Traveler's Notebook cover in order to carry more things. I am gonna put some stickers in here and the fact that it has a zip on one of the pouches is really helpful because I like using sticker flakes and they get kind of everywhere. That's why I can zip them up and take them with me when I travel with my Traveler's Notebook. They also included some fancy washi tape, which I love using in my journals. There's a, a fancy Morris & Co. designed MT tape. It's like a really pretty floral pattern, and this is definitely the widest washi tape that I've ever had. I'm excited to figure out how to use it with my journaling style. And this is also pretty cool. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of the company that makes it, but it's a washi tape roll, and instead of having like a continuous line of tape, they're individual flower stickers that are made out of washi paper, which is pretty cool. I've seen them online, I haven't tried them before, and I think this is gonna be really fun to add to the pages. And of course they sent some pens, which I'm going to write some swatches for in a minute. This one they sent specifically with me in mind because my favorite pen is the .38 Uniball Signo. This is what I use for all of my normal journal writing. This is a refillable, interchangeable Uniball Signo. It's called the Uni Style Fit. It holds three colors and you can just switch between them. These ones I have never heard of before. They're called the Iconic Two-Way Retro Pen. So they have two different tips. It looks like a thicker one and a very thin, fine one. And it looks like the colors are really pale, pretty muted colors, similar to the Zero Mild Liners. So I'm interested in seeing how those work out. I'm gonna put links to all of the products that I've mentioned in the video description below. So that way you're able to easily find them if you're interested in buying any of them. So if you are new here and you liked this video, remember to subscribe before you go. I make all kinds of creative and nerdy videos. Lately, I've been especially into journaling videos, so ring that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss what I make next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.